Uh, here's the question. Uh, you talked about the possibility of NVIDIA in the next-gen consoles, but do you think an Intel, PlayStation, or Xbox is a possibility? Wow. In some aspects, ray tracing machine learning, Intel seems to be ahead of AMD. They just lack a bigger GPU, and the lackluster driver isn't an issue for console adoption. Uh, Oliver, I'm going to go to you for your thoughts on this. So I think I think there are a few things to say about this. The first thing is that it, it's sort of contingent on NVIDIA delivering next generation GPU hardware down a few generations down the line, which it's easy for NVIDIA to, or rather, sorry, for N Intel, uh, Intel to say that they're going to deliver this hardware. Um, but in the past, they've not followed through on their GPU commitments, right? Famously with uh, Larrabee back in the day, I believe. So that's part of it. The other part of it is it's not down to hardware strictly. It's down to, I think, when we talk about the idea of an NVIDIA-led console, for instance, it's down to a combination of the uh, hardware and the software engineering experience that NVIDIA brings. So that's not just in terms of basic things like uh, APIs, but also obviously in terms of the DLSS suite of technologies and NVIDIA's uh, market leadership on that front. So I think that Intel is probably not going to be pushing as far in those directions. I'd love to see more interesting stuff from Intel. Obviously, they don't have a frame generation equivalent from from them yet. I, I expect pro probably something like that is coming. Yeah, they're working but, on it. <laughs> yeah, but but uh, but uh, but I don't really expect that they would be in quite the same position as an Nvidia to really deliver something that would be a, a market leading design. Is basically right. my opinion. Not just in terms of hardware, but but also the software side of it, which is very very important. Okay, Alex, thoughts? I would love to see this just from, I like the fact that it would be a more diverse console marketplace because I, I'm a little bit bored every single time across. I mean, it's probably better for the developers just in terms of ease, but like, <laughs> I, it's a little bit boring when it's just like the, the, the console versions are more or less the same. The boxes are just different for their exclusives or lack thereof. Um, and um, I would like to see Intel there. I just like, the one thing that they showed with Arc is that they're spending a lot of um, a, a lot of transistors to get performance in a level that is not like the equivalent transistors you'd see on AMD or especially NVIDIA. Um, and part of that maybe comes down to process. Part of that also comes down to the unrefined aspects of ARC that I think could be a lot better with a lot a dedicated team looking to see how they could get into a console. But that's that's all pipe dream. I honestly don't think Intel's going to be in a console anytime soon until they have a proven SOC out there somewhere else, uh, and, and that is somewhat console like. And then maybe developers right. would look at it and be like, hmm, okay, they're doing some crazy stuff in terms of packaging now, in terms of like multiple chiplets and stuff, right? Yeah. Um, which which is great, which is awesome, but it's not really conducive to a good console. And I think going back to what you were saying, Alex. Um, transistor count or other the concept of area, silicon area, it is a, it is a weakness with ARC. Um, the chip is relatively huge compared to the performance you're getting relative to what um, NVIDIA and AMD are doing. So, yeah, I think that's the problem, right? And then going back to the more broader concept of NVIDIA entering a console, um, they're spending a lot of transistors on, you know, stuff like uh, ray tracing cores and machine learning. And... Um, yeah, the question is the extent to which that is actually valuable within a console SOC. Now, Nintendo are obviously going for it with um, with T239 for the Switch 2. Um, there's going to be a lot of ray tracing hardware in there, and potentially there couldn't be that many games with ray tracing. So it's, it's really tricky, right? It's basically on the in NVIDIA side, it's the question of whether you're going to get value from your transistors, which is crucial in the console space. Um, and then on you know the Intel side, they're just so far behind in terms of actually getting an efficient design uh, compared to the competition that that could be something that takes several generations to fix. So I don't think we'll see it anytime soon, but it's certainly an, an interesting concept, right? Um, I'd be taking a look at their next generation laptops to see what they're doing. I mean, when you look at what the complexity of Meteor Lake, it looks pretty phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, um, right. Uh, but at the same time, it doesn't look like a console SOC. <laughs> <laughs> you know, hashtag just saying. Yeah.